What's up everybody? It is just before 5 a.m. and we are about to start another video for the Get Outside series on my YouTube channel. So for those of you who know, I love getting outside, love doing things outside, and love learning uh, some new sports. So in the past, whatever, five, ten years, I've picked up snowboarding, and that's what I'm going to go do right now. I'm going to get in one session here before it all melts. Um, I haven't been out really at all this year. I usually get out once a year, and I'm going to go out right now with my buddy Aaron Hoff. Uh, he's out in Denver, Colorado, so I'm going to go meet up with him. Got all my stuff packed, ready to rock and roll, and get some snowboarding in. All right, so landed a couple hours ago, staying at Bickle's place. He loaned us his sick van, which we're driving in right now. Myself and <laughs> if I can get this thing to flip around. <laughs> the king of health here. <laughs> My good friend Aaron. Got us some donuts, Mountain Dew, we're filling up the van. World's sweetest woman on planet Earth, Celeste Hi. Hoff is back here. So we're gonna run up the mountain and get like a what would I guess would be considered kind of lame day snowboarding in because tomorrow it's supposed to dump snow at a couple different places so we're just going to get our feet wet today get a little normal boarding in and then get the good stuff tomorrow so we're packing up to head out to Wolf Creek Wolf Creek this is our gracious host it's Matthew Bickle you know Celeste and Hoff so packing up the bag right now we got gloves extra pair of long Pants, hat, boots, goggles, helmet, what else? Water, wax, first form bars, a little bit of everything. About a what, four hour drive? Four hours. Four hours. Four hours and we're there and then tomorrow we're supposed to get, tonight's supposed to get eight inches of powder. And then a foot tomorrow. And then a foot the next day. Yeah. So, pretty fired up about that. I'm just hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> Giggle. It's the mischievous Dad's one. Dad's gonna get stuck. That's the one I don't like hearing. He's gonna get You're stuck. You're gonna push me. And down. I'm gonna get it on film. I know. I was left foot, right foot. I was all about like, there's the next crack. Like walk to that crack in the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay, yeah. walk to that tree. Okay, walk to that. Yeah, short milestone. Yep. That made all the difference. It's so fun. If I did. Taping my feet, having the different size shoes, making food like actually scheduling a timer on my phone and being like oh, yeah. two hours eating at the right time to eat. Yeah. You know, like there's a lot of times I stopped eating and that's shortly after when I would fall apart. <laughs> you know? What about those like like toe socks? You know the socks that like go around your toes, yeah. each individual toe? Yeah. I have some, I had some of those out there. Shut up. I swear to God. Didn't wear them. Nope. Didn't try them. Why? Because I was afraid they were going to give me blisters. Oh, right. Like, yeah. See, that's the first thing when you say wrap your toes up in tape. That's the first thing that makes me think I'm going to get blisters. blisters nah. Yeah. Oxford says, Oxford does all those tough butters, those 24 hour tough butters and stuff. Yeah. And he says that taping your toes is the way to go. And, huh. and not taping, I'm sure, didn't work. So no, like, not taping, it didn't work at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's a disaster. I used to live up here, you guys. This used to be my drive to and from work every day. Oh, wow. Yeah. How long was the drive? An hour and 15, an hour and 20 nice. minutes. This is gorgeous. We're right next to Red Rocks right now, like just on the other side of this hill is Red Rocks. This is also one of my favorite bike rides. Not on this highway, but there's a road parallel to it that's a country road that does the exact same ride. <laughs> we do that ride a lot in the summer. Yeah. Arrived at our place for the day. Two days, two nights. What's this say right here? Sirloin. <laughs> How do you spell it in Hawaii? Sir line. Hello, Sir Loney. Sir Loney. <laughs> <laughs> what is this fly now? Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Where's the 
my fly's not down. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs>
Hard lap. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you haven't checked out the other video from the Get Outside series, go ahead and click the link down in the bio. Check out the backpacking trip I did with Pat Sherwood. Getting outside is something I love to do. It's a way that I love to use my fitness and the work that I'm putting in in the gym and getting myself outside. Clears my head, helps me focus, and uh, just keeps me sane. Um, if you're wondering how you can train to do something like snowboarding, how you can make your performance a little bit better, uh, the GPP program and the Farm Strong program are two that you would want to focus on, available at alwaystrain.com. Um, those are going to be two workouts or two workout tracks that can help you get more on pace with your overall general physical preparedness in terms of being ready for anything in life. So Farm Strong one's going to be a limited equipment uh, version of the workouts. If you only have a dumbbell, kettlebell, or a sandbag, you can get by on that workout track. If you have a little bit more of a full equipment setup, the GPP one is going to be a great option for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Put any questions down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.